What's going on guys? It's your boy Fox back in the house with another reaction for Epithet Erased. This is episode four. Uh, at the end of the last episode, we got a glimpse of, I think, Lady uh, Mare's ability, which is called Fragile. Uh, it looks like she can touch anything to the point to where it breaks, but it looked like she was also controlling like glass and stuff. I don't know. It was weird. Maybe that was just glass falling down from the ceiling. Hmm, I don't know, but guys, let's jump straight into it. I don't like keeping these episodes that long. Let's go. So we can get, get straight into the intro. I'm, I'm not mad at it. I feel like I want to go to like a jazz club every time I hear this uh, intro. I'm going to learn how to play the trumpet now. Cut out the corners, cross the teeth, and then down the eyes. Move out the white, I'm going to keep it in good taste. Just so that no one will ever know when to face. Everything erased. I'm sorry for my singing. I can't help it. It's so damn catchy. <laughs> going out okay okay stay in bed this time okay you're not well bro look at me wait a minute look at her eyes bro okay she looks so tired and defeated bro it's too early in the morning for me to be having feels oh damn episode four reflection yeah i feel like i'm gonna i feel like i'm gonna have a tear by the end of this episode i won't go but why ever not? Lady Mara is waiting. Because I don't wanna. The way uh, he talks is Boss great. Stood up for me. He did. He got hurt for me, and he says I should stand up for myself. You should always stand I don't up for yourself. I have my epithet taken away. But you must. Lady Mara needs it. I'm sorry, but I need it too. Molly dashes off towards the exit, but she <laughs> finds her path blocked by a barrier. <laughs> I'm sorry, miss. But as a fellow bodyguard, you must understand. I must do as Lady Mara commands, and she commands that I capture you! Uh, no, Alright, no. you getting serious, huh? Um, she runs her hand along the sand in the desert exhibit, piling it up in her palm. As the this reaches out to grab her, she sprays it up into his eyes! Ah, sand, sand attack! Sand in my eyes! It was the effective. third worst place for sand to be! No, what are the other two? Come back! <laughs> Run, Molly. Not bad, kid. That power of yours is actually pretty impressive. I think I'll take it. You're no museum worker. You're just another thief. Aw, what was your first clue? <laughs> so wait, she just manifested. Must... Your move, genius. She just manifested I'm glass. Quite literally, am a genius, which means I'm smart enough to know that I shouldn't hold back. Let's see what you're most afraid of. Nightmare fuel. What? Why didn't it? What I'm most afraid of. You want to know what I'm most afraid of? Uh oh. I'm afraid of this. I'm afraid of a world where I spend the rest of my life like this, brittle and creaking and constantly on the verge of breaking. I'm afraid of a life where someone bumping up against me on the street needs a trip to the hospital. What? I'm afraid that this is all there is. But now, I finally have an exit. I finally have a way to leave. You think you can keep me here? Then you better be ready to die trying. Yo. Alright. What was also that? Also ducks, apparently. They're small and fast and they bite, okay? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Sergeant Duck. Just die or something. <laughs> Molly hops the rope and skips up the stegosaurus skeleton, climbing her way to the top of the wall. She takes a hesitant step onto the barrier prison and walks it like a tightrope. Wait, hey, kid, how did the other one disappear doing? with that one? That's didn't. dangerous. Don't worry, I'm going to get you out of here. Boss needs our help. Boss? Wait a second. What are you talking about? Miss? Miss? There's no time. Please, just trust me. Ah, there you are. Don't move. I am coming to apprehend you. <laughs> oh, no. I've been caught. I sure hope this barrier underneath me doesn't disappear. Then I'd have nowhere to run. You are right. Secret.
secret technique, Unbarrier! What? What? Secret technique? <laughs> I got you. Thanks. Boss is in the next room over. This big guy beat him up. He's trying to catch me, and I need your help to get away from him. Okay. Or she Don't fully integrated best. into the Bonsai Blasters. We're the Bonsai Blasters! Nobody messes with us. Prepare to meet your doom! <laughs> oh, no. I, uh... Well, <laughs> I bargain been best, but they bought me a few seconds, and that's all I needed. Molly dips under really? the rope and begins crawling up the tail of the Apatosaurus. But they reminded me of you for a split there. second. One does not ride a mighty dinosaur without its permission. Barrier! What is dead? Molly roots around in her backpack and pulls out the gun Giovanni gave her. She looks at it for a second and then chucks it at the base of the bones. Hey, what? do not throw guns. I'm a bad guy now. I can do what I want. The dinosaur <laughs> she has fully embraced her baddie. Its bones creak ominously as the beast begins to collapse. You should reposition your barriers if you want to save the dinosaur. Uh, uh, no, you I gotta do. Save it, I do want to save the dinosaur. Exactly. <laughs> For who doesn't want to save the dinosaurs? <laughs> Thank goodness. Molly shimmies her way up the neck and hops into a nearby air vent on the ceiling. Really? Hey, hey, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, he shouldn't be able to follow me up here. What are those lights up ahead? Scooch. Scooch. A scooch. Scooch. All right, let's group up into teams of three and sweep the building. We don't know what's going on. Wait, why do the police naturally have a sword? What? Wait a minute. the policemen? I didn't think so many would show up. That's good. I shouldn't have to worry about Mr. Indus anymore. Hoo <laughs> Is that man carrying a dinosaur? Little bodyguard! Where did you go? Oh! Hello, police. 9618, we have a 9618 in progress. Subject is in possession of a sauropod. Bronto, possibly a patasaurus. Requesting backup immediately. You have a code uh, for that? Well, this is awkward. That should be a good enough distraction. I need to get back to the others before the police find them. Scooch, scooch. Scooch, scooch. Escooch. Escooch. Epithet erased. Commercials are like a barrier on your TV. Okay. I love his bonsai rank, but bonsai blast only get unique outfits yeah, when they enter back. their nickname. Crusher is named for his giant crush on Giovanni. Sheep. What? Is, is that all you got? You're getting tired. I see. Your body is too frail for your own epithet. You can't keep this up. It's a war of attrition then. Counting sheep! Defend me! How you All I breathe? have to do is survive until your own power knocks you out. You think you can outlast me? You'd better watch your step! Bro, okay. What is up with... Why are you able to manifest glass? I thought her paddle was fragile. She grabs Sylvie's chest and clasps her fingers. Is that bones breaking? Brittle and his breath chokes. Ooh. You feel that? How your bones Wait, feel like take his while on I'm the take verge of caving in. <laughs> That's how I feel all the time. Most people who train their epithet figure out new powers and ways to get around their weaknesses. <laughs> Not me. The more I train, the stronger my epithet grows. The weaker I get. The only new trick I found is the ability to suck stamina out of other people. All I can do is steal from others. When you try to find a way if you can spread it I without having to touch it. I figured lean into it. Let me show you. No! I won't let you! Yeah, Take this! What is he doing? Did he seriously <laughs> pass out from he the shock? He fell asleep again! What a weenie. <laughs> my bones are broken right now, and you don't hear me complaining much. It's Dr. Beefton. Oh, that's new. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, that sounds like it hurts. <laughs> that's still happening. Beefton stomps the ground. He levels his horns uh -oh. and prepares to charge. Oh, great. Go, Dr. Beefton. Let's see you get through those. 
I wasn't serious. <laughs> and a wall of crystal I don't know who to root for. Shoot out from the rubble beneath. <laughs> Beefton will enjoy examining your cadaver. Bam! 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 Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> she pulls her fist and, with a moment of hesitation, takes it into the wall behind her, breaking at least two of her fingers. Yeet. <laughs> Fissure snakes up from the impact, creeping up, up, up the wall and into the ceiling. Crack, crack, crack! It okay. crisscrosses until a chunk of the roof has been completely encircled. Uh. Something, something, bull in a china shop. That's a pretty bad one-liner, but no one's around to hear it, so She's... it doesn't matter. <laughs> She's literally breaking. You were there too? Damn it, should have said something cool after all. <laughs> This is it's too perfect. late now. Come here! Ah! Mara's hand reaches to grab hold of Molly's epithet. The amulet glows in unsettling green as her nails you know use that amulet close yet? around Molly's neck. But something holds her back. Don't oh. touch her. Fine! If you can't wait your turn, I'll take your epithet first! Yes! Oh no. Yes! The amulet glimmers. And an orange aura surrounds the boy. It dances for a moment, fleeting, and then rushes along Mara's outstretched arm into the gem of the arson. Oh no! <laughs> oh, wait, hold up. Wait a minute. Oh, you know what? We'll talk about that in a bit. So. All your strength, all your powers—they're mine. Thank you for your contribution to the museum's collection, kid. He just throw him on his face like that. It's what pity. did he call that ability again? Oh right, nightmare fuel. No, no. Oh, that's much better. I can get used to this. Now it's your turn, little girl. Wait, Andus got captured by the cops. Don't you need to go and help him? He, uh, that idiot. <laughs> well, it's his own stupid fault. He can get out of it himself. But no, he can't. Don't you like him? Huh? Well, I'm, I mean, he's free labor, but... Yes, you do. You sound like my dad. It's nice to have someone looking out for you. You shouldn't take it for granted. I don't take life advice from a toddler. And don't bother looking for a way out. There's no escape. She reaches for Molly. And has told me about your epithet. If it really hurts so much, then why? Why don't you just have somebody use the necklace to steal it away? You can okay. get rid of my it. Okay, my point got brought and up. What? Lose what little I've gained from all my effort the past ten years? This training? This is all I have! Why should I have to throw away all my hard work? You shouldn't. <laughs> it's not fair. I know it's not. The world never is. It's true. But These that doesn't facts. mean you should make other people hurt instead. If you act a little nicer, you get a little nice back. Usually. Be quiet. If you say so. So what if other people get hurt, huh? I've been hurting my whole life. Yeah, I but just no wanted to, hurt to other stop people, for ten minutes. Is that so wrong? And now it's here. The answer is right here. I just have to reach out and grab it. A new life. It's so close. Oh, we're getting animated. I can almost hear it. Wait. No, I can't. I can't hear anything. Why can't I hear anything? My boy! And to her, that's dead. Yeah. You know, it was not a strike. Home run! Now, His that's bat what I call a bear trap. Right! <laughs> Giovanni struts Yo. over to Mara's unconscious body, leans down, and takes the Arsene amulet from her. The battle is over. That was amazing, boss! Yeah, super cool! <laughs> yeah, I've been hiding there the whole time. Well, you know, all in a day's work. Plus, I gained a ton of proficiency from winning that battle. And all that smoke gave me an idea for a new move. Check it out. hoo <laughs> Giovanni spreads his arms, and the area around him is blanketed in a fog as thick as pea soup. Not bad, huh? I don't like soup. So, what do you think of the fog of lost souls? It smells delicious, boss! I love you! <laughs> I love you more! Also, it heals you if you stand in it, just like really? real souls. That's dope. Uh, 
What happened? You totally Dr. B fit and got your epithet stolen like a nerd. <laughs> Luckily for you, the bonsai blaster saved the day. Can I please have my epithet back? Only if you beg. Never creep. <laughs> oh, well, that's a shame. I guess your epithet belongs to the bonsai blasters now. No. So I wait, can I, I'm gonna give him I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. Give it back. Boss, come on. What's that, Bear Trap? I can't hear it when you mumble like that. If you want something, speak up. Boss, give it back to him. Please. Okay, fine. But only because Bear Trap asked so nicely. <laughs> you gotta give her some positive reinforcement after all. You're lucky I'm such a good mentor. Molly walks Giovanni over is and the presses the right amulet to Sylvie. The orange aura returns to him. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, I guess all's You're all well that ends well. <laughs> <laughs> Freeze, criminals! We're the cops! All right, <laughs> we're the cops. Well, well, well. The notorious bonsai blasters. We should have known you were behind this. That's right, coppers. We're not scared of you or your little pea shooters. This museum's treasures are ours for the taking. We shall see. The woman steps forward and unsheathes a real ass goddamn sword. <laughs> and <point> <laughs> <up>. <laughs> Whoa! Is that a real ass sword? <laughs> it is. We don't mess around with no real ass goddamn swords. That's out of our pay grade. <laughs> We're done. Indeed. That's what your friends said before we captured them. Oh no! Oh, jeez, you guys. And what of those two? Are these youths also part of your criminal cavalcade? She gestures towards Sylvie and Molly. <laughs> As if the bonsai oh, blasters no, don't would do that. never hire some snot-nosed little kids. These two are our hostages. Giovanni's so a goat for it. You are real He lifts Molly up and places her in front of him. Oh no! I am an unwilling hostage. I hope I am not hit by a gun or a real ass goddamn sword. <laughs> yes. She swore. And I don't she feel swore. bad about it. My innocent youth is already being corrupted by bad guy proximity. No! This trash. <laughs> Stand down, man. <laughs> That's right. You wouldn't want to hit one of those hostages through the fog by mistake. Through the fog? What fog? The fog of lost souls! <laughs> <laughs> Darn, <all right. laughs> Where did they go? <laughs> so long, suckers. We'll meet again soon, Bear Trap. See you later, Coppers! Curses! See you later, Coppers! Set up and search for them. We can't let them get away. I'll look after these citizens. Yes, ma'am! And who in the world is Bear Trap? That's me. Epithetorate! <laughs> Two best friends named Trixie and Fia. One of them appears somewhere in the museum. Did you notice her? No, I want to go back. Epithetorate! Try to count how many sheep he can see. But he always falls asleep first. That's trash. He's in a stretcher for real. You think he'll be okay? Not to worry. He sustained some minor injuries, but I think he'll pull through. It's a good thing he managed to get his epithet back, though. A dangerous artifact like that amulet simply cannot be left in the hands of criminals. And I'm afraid this is going to be the start of a lot of work for the police force. I'm still wish tripping I off the sword you got. That's a real ass close. damn sword she got. <laughs> Call the number on that card when you get a room at the hospital, okay? I'll send over some get well toys from the store. Uh, I forgot thanks. she runs a toy store. Molly, um, did you mean it when you said you would be my friend? Sure, if you want me to be. Uh, yeah. Bro, See Molly's you. so sweet. <laughs> I hope. Go! Oh, hey, what's the ice? <laughs> well, we've wrapped up most everything here, but I'm afraid we still can't seem to get a hold of your father. <sighs> He's so useless. Yeah, that tracks. Ow! Careful with those handcuffs, all right? I apologize for getting us captured, Lady Mera. I will do my best to scooch, so you may have as much room as possible. Scooching. Shut up, Indus. Mera sighs and squeaks in behind him. She grimaces as her broken bones press against Indus's girth. 
Brett, we need she to talk. We, we need to have a serious talk about Lily your physical well-being. walks over before well they shut the door. Uh, careful, citizen. Just because they're wearing eraser cuffs doesn't mean they aren't dangerous. It'll be okay. Eraser cuffs. What do you want? I'm sorry I couldn't give you my epithet. Really, I am. I just... I needed to deal with stuff at home for a while. But I can at least do this much for you. She gently takes Mira's hands in her own and closes her eyes. Hi, I want her hands behind her. Never mind. There's a I'm moment shut up. of serene quiet. For the first time in a long while, Mira doesn't feel anything. No discomfort. No pain. Just quiet. And when you get older, quiet becomes I hope so that important. makes your car ride a little nicer, at least. <laughs> if you ever want me to help with that in the future, just ask. You know, once you get out of jail. <laughs> she doesn't say anything. Then just kind of elbows her. And I say something now. Thank you. Can I get a ride home? <laughs> Toy Emporium. Thank you very much for driving me. You're but quite your dad is useless. I know things didn't go quite as expected today, but I hope you got the chance to learn something on your field trip. Yeah, I think I did. You just took Molly home a bad guy. Molly reaches for her keys, but the door is already unlocked. <sighs> dad. She turns and waves to the police lady. Didn't even lock up the Good store for y'all trying to get robbed. Hmm. What an adorable young sprog. What is that? Molly flips I have to go look up the dictionary again. And starts her shift at 11 p.m. Starting the shift? No! Night. We close for the day. You know what? No. Yeah, yep. but, yeah, we close. I'm going to bed. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Like, starting no shift. Kiss my ass on that one. <laughs> I don't care if you want some toys. Was this? <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Why are you exaggerating? Oh, that's bad. Did you happen to catch any other names? Yep, yep. Giovanni. Portage came. That was Lid Atkinson. That's a terrible picture. Then I suppose we have a manhunt on our hands, which means this is a job for Zora. <laughs> Ooh, the plot thickens. Oh, yeah. And. Yep, that is the end of this episode. So, yeah. So the point I was going to bring up was like your epithet causes you this amount of pain. Why don't you just use Amulet to take it from yourself? Or like Molly said, use someone else. But, you know, they kind of got to answer a little bit. She's like, I don't want to get rid of my hard work of all that training, which is understandable. But, you know, Wait, but guys, this episode is dope just like the rest of it. Actually, you know what? I just want to say uh, thank you first and foremost, because uh, all the video, all the reactions that I've done on this series have just been overwhelmingly great y'all are dope y'all have been smashing the likes the comments and just just all the analytics and stuff that i see on these videos it, it really makes me happy and it makes me want to put these out even more so guys i re just really want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart uh you just don't know how happy it makes uh it makes me but guys once again do the stuff that i normally tell you to do comment subscribe smash that like button let's get to 40 likes 40 likes. I know y'all can do it. Y'all have just been straight up killing it. I love y'all for that. Uh, and with all that being said, I hope you have a wonderful day, night, or evening, whenever the hell you're watching this. And with all that being said, it's the boy Fox.